welcome to Design Tip of the Week from yesimadesigner.com. I'm Martin Perhiniak, and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a subtle out-of-bounds effect. I'm sure you've seen these type of effects before, and uh, they were quite popular because it's not that difficult to do in Photoshop. But to be honest, they are quite old school now and um, you wouldn't really use these type of effects in any type of advertisement or poster but you can still use the out of bounds effects but a much more subtle version of it so let me show you how to do that and it's also becoming a trend now this type of out of bounds effect so i have two examples and i'm going to start with this image here all you need to do is to use the rectangle tool, so the vector shape tool, and set up the fill to be uh, using no color and the stroke to be using white or something bright color. And um, you can use something very thin, like three, four point stroke size. Uh, also, that depends on the size of the image, of course. But uh, let me just draw something like this. I would like to keep this rectangle around uh, the center of the image. So I would like to focus on the face and the microphone and the hand. So while you are drawing with the rectangle tool, you can always hold down space to reposition the rectangle until you find the perfect spot for it. And I would like to do something like this. I let go. Good thing is that you can always use the free transform tool to change uh, the rectangle itself, but that looks quite good to me. And uh, so far it's not much because it's just a simple frame on the actual image, but once we add a bit of depth into it, so we incorporate the actual parts of the image uh, into the frame, or better to say blend the frame into the image, uh, then it will become more interesting. So we have to select the rectangle and add the mask on it, a pixel mask. So click on add layer mask, then select the brush tool and uh, with a hard edge brush, you can zoom closer to the image and you just have to hide the details that you don't want to see like here I would like to make it look like uh, the frame is behind uh, the hat and the same with the arm here I would like to make it look like it's behind the arm if you go too far like that and you would like to extend it just press X to switch to the white color and then you can come down again and just go as far as you need to Again, if you want to, let's say, have the microphone behind the frame, you can also do that. Just simply use black to hide that part of the frame. So now if we have a look at it, it's quite nicely blended into it. So the arm is coming in front, the microphone is also in front, and the head is also in front, but everything else is behind it. So that works quite nicely, but to make it a little bit more realistic, you can add an additional layer and alt click between these two layers to create a clipping mask. And on that additional layer, still using the brush tool, but setting up the hardness to be 0%. You can have a bit bigger brush as well, uh, maybe even big bigger than that, something like this. By the way, you can always use keyboard shortcuts like the bracket keys to increase, decrease the size of the brush. And probably use opacity around 30%. If you press three on the keyboard, that quickly changes to uh, 30%. And then just add a bit of shading on these parts because obviously they would be uh, under the hat, so they would be much darker. They almost disappear there. So you can see if I turn this layer off and turn it back on, this little shading can make the whole effect a bit more uh, like realistic. So now I can do the same thing here at the bottom as well. And if I feel like I missed a little spot there, I can always go back to the mask, just change my brush settings draw over this with white so I would like to see that detail again then I can go back again to my shading layer again change the brush settings I'm using control alt click and drag on the uh, Mac to change the uh, size of the brush right and left drag up to change the hardness on PC it is alt right click to change this so hold down alt and then right click and drag 
so again I can do this here but probably that's a little bit too hard so 30% is enough and do the other side as well and there you go so we have a nice out of bounds effect a very subtle one and the cool thing about this is that after masking and shading I can still use uh, the uh, selection tool the path selection tool and I can still change uh, the stroke itself I can make it thicker for example and I can even change how uh, the stroke should look like maybe dashed line and I can of course change the color of it as well so I can pick any color that I like and use that for my frame now let me show you uh, just another quick example again just to repeat the whole uh, procedure here if I would like to have this couple in a frame I can just use again the frame tool and uh, create the frame where I want it to be and then add the mask use the brush tool again with hard edge and 100% opacity and then I'm just going to make it look like the frame is actually going between their legs something like that here it can be visible and then again this leg can be in front and then again after that it can be visible again so just simple things like this can really concentrate on the actual area where you would like to uh, show your frame and just another useful uh, tip if you create a group and you put your masking on the group then you can still make transformations to your frame without affecting the mask so you can see here at the bottom my mask is not affected I didn't stretch that I only transform the rectangle inside the mask so I can always make simple changes like these and my mask won't be affected and that's all I wanted to show you in this tutorial. I hope you found it useful. Thanks a lot for your attention and see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Facebook, Twitter or Google+. Also, if you want to learn more about design, check out my in-depth online courses on my website, yesimadesigner.com.